Some say Chinese is one of the most difficult languages in the world, and learning it is almost impossible. So learning Chinese, the most difficult thing. So I'm sort of tone deaf. I can't really hear them. I think the cultural mindset is the biggest complication for the us. grammar. It's just complicated so much. Only because you're not learning it in the right way. Why not try Take Away Chinese, where you can take some Chinese away and experience progress day by day. Take away Chinese, we will promise you a difference. Welcome to Take Away Chinese. I'm Fei Fei, and joining me today is our friend Tony Reed. Hello, Tony. Hey, how's it going? And hello to all of our listeners out there. Hopefully, we take something away for Take Away Chinese. And Tony, have you ever shopped for groceries in markets in China? Of course, I think we all need to buy food constantly,、mm -hmm. and it's always running out because we're always eating. So yeah, I think this is a, a staple in、um, daily life for all people. Exactly, but I think when you go into places like supermarkets, you don't really have to need to communicate with、mm. the seller. No. Yeah, you can just. Go in there and go out silently without even speaking a word. Especially now with all the machines helping us.、Mm. If we are going to like a farmers market,、mm -hmm. there are some lingos and expressions that are essential. Yeah. If you want to make that sale. I agree. Yeah. And sometimes if you want to haggle or if you want to ask how much something costs, because the、mm. price is never there. So you have to ask, and it's、uh, really important to know how to do that. And、eh, I only know one phrase, and that's 多少钱 Ah, how much? 多少钱 How much money? Well, I think that one phrase is quite sufficient、yeah. for you to shopping at a farmers market or any markets with a lot of vendors in. And、um, but today in this episode, we are going to explore more on some of the useful expressions and sentences, phrases that you can use. For shopping in markets in China or grocery shopping, which is in Chinese, 买菜买菜嗯、mm. buy food. 菜 well, a direct translation would be vegetables. Okay. But in Chinese, 菜 can mean other things as well, like fruits, meat.、Mm -hmm. You know, generally the groceries you are going to need. Hmm. Okay. So 买菜 And first of all, as usual, we have a small dialogue prepared. 西红柿怎么卖？五块钱一斤，放心买。我们的菜一向很新鲜，都是自己种的，纯天然。黄瓜还有吗？也来两根吧。哎呀，黄瓜已经卖光了，你要买就再去别家看看吧。And that's it with the dialogue. We'll break it down sentence by sentence. And the first one is, 西红柿怎么卖 This is、uh, how much are the tomatoes?、Mm. And、uh, yeah, 西红柿 So I know 红 is the color red.、Mm. Um, and yeah, this tomatoes are red. So I'm not sure what the other parts of the the word means, but this is the this means tomatoes. Exactly. There is actually quite an interesting story with the name of 西红柿 Okay. So 西 meaning the west,、mm -hmm. and 红 of course you said it red,、mm -hmm. and 柿 it refers to a sort of.、Uh, Vegetable slash fruit type of、um, yeah, because te <laughs> technically tomato is a fruit. But the reason for 西红柿 has the word West in it、mm. is because tomatoes were imported to China from other places in the world.、Oh. I think it's about hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Okay. So that's why we call it 西红柿 because it's coming from the West、huh. and it's in the color red. Mm. And also in some other parts,、uh, especially in southern cities like Hong Kong, they would call it fan jie. Fan jie. Yeah, I think it also has something to do with their dialect. But in the Mandarin, it would be called fan jie. Okay. So when you are saying tomato sauce,、mm -hmm. that's、yeah. called fan jie jiang. Yeah, fan jie jiang. I've、yeah. heard this many times. That's not 西红柿酱 It's fan jie jiang. That's yeah. That's a little bit. 
Mm, yeah, I could, it's <laughs> it would be easier if it was just be tomato sauce, but but if you do say shi hong shi jiang, will people understand? Yeah, they will understand, but it's just a little weird. They'll laugh, huh? Yeah. Okay. It doesn't have the ketchup image in their in their mind.、Mm-hmm. So shi hong shi would be referring to the fresh vegetable or、mm-hmm. slash fruit,、mm-hmm. and the f- tomato sauce would be fan qie jiang. Okay,、mm-hmm. fan qie jiang. Nice. All right, and then zhuma normally like how is it or how? Yeah, exactly. And then my is, in this case is is this buy or sell? It's the fourth turn, so it's sell. Okay, sell. <laughs> tone deaf Tony. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go, tone deaf Tony. <laughs> Yeah, so, so、like、yeah, like in English, it would sound really weird, like how to sell the tomatoes.、Mm-hmm. What they actually asking here is, you know, how much is it?、Mm. But some mai would be the the normal question that in Chinese markets people would ask. Yeah, like how to sell or、mm-hmm. how sell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's the direct translation. But I guess for this, it just means. How much? That's this is a new one for me because, as I mentioned, I normally just use dual shao qian. Yeah, exactly.、Mm. Well, I think both can make sense、mm. when you are trying to buy something in the market. All right. And then the answer of the second sentence is wu kuai qian yi jin. Ah, this is five yuan per jin.、Mm. Okay. A lot so, of measurements here. Yeah. So wu. Is five and then kuai, qian, kuai, and I have had that. I, I I'm used to yuan because yuan is the, I think that's the official term for money in China, right? Yeah, yeah. But kuai, I hear many people say kuai. Kuai is like the difference between bucks and dollars、oh, in the U.S. Okay. So like in colloquial conversations, we just say kuai. Okay, and then so then what? Is the significance of qian here? Wu kuai qian or any kuai qian? I think it's just a a way of expression.、It、doesn't really carry any meanings. That you were just saying is five bucks. Okay. Sometimes you don't need it though, right? Yeah. Some sometimes some people just say wu kuai. Yeah, yeah, yeah.、Right? Some people would just omit the qian and doesn't make any difference. Then wu kuai qian. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then yi jin. So I think yi here symbolizes per,、mm-hmm. and then the jin here. I'm not really sure. What, is this like this is a measurement word? Because I think in the states we use like pound or other places it's kilogram.、Mm-hmm. And in China we use jin. Okay. Is the Chinese measurement, and it's five hundred gram or a little over one pound. Okay, a little over a pound.、Mm. Okay. And then the next sentence is, 放心买，我们的菜一向很新鲜，都是自己种的，纯天然。Mm, and that is, rest assured, freshness is guaranteed. We grew them ourselves, and they are completely natural.、Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. How I would feel if someone told me all that is completely natural. Don't worry. Sounds like a cover it up. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit. But feng xin. This is a new word for me. I think this is the the rest assured, right? Yeah, feng xin. Oh, feng xin.、Mm, it's quite useful.、Um, it can also use when, for example, your parents are saying a lot of words to you, especially when you are going away.、Mm-hmm. They'll just、um, remind you of this. Take care of that. Watch out for this, and you can answer as 放心 just rest assured,、mm-hmm. relax, don't be worry.、Mm. Yeah, I'll be fine. 放心 Oh, okay. Yeah, this is quite useful. Yeah. But after that, it says 放心买 I think this is like、uh, this is the third tone, so that's buy, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I think maybe we need this, but sometimes we don't need this. Either right? Yeah, you can say just say 放心放心 Yeah. Okay, but 放 here it's rest assured to buy, to buy maybe.、Yeah. <laughs> And then 我们的 so our 菜 is、uh, as you mentioned groceries or vegetables or yeah food. Hmm. Uh, 一箱
I think this Yi Xiang is、um, what is that? It's like always. Always, right?、Mm. Han is very, and then Xin Xian. I think this is like the like fresh.、Right? Yeah, exactly. Xin Xian. And then Dou Shi. I think this is everything or all, right? Hmm. Yes. Zi Ji, like we ourselves or myself. Hmm. Zhong de, so Zhong. I think this is grow. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So we grow everything ourselves. Chun Tian Ran. Tian Ran is natural, right?、Mm. And I think Chun is pure or natural, completely. Completely. I think what they're trying to say is that it's safe to eat, <laughs> or they're trying to imply that they're organic.、Mm. But you know, you need certain certificates、right. to say that、right. in the market. Right. So sometimes, especially for farmers who don't really know the concept of organic,、mm-hmm. they will say Chun Tian Ran is completely natural. Mm, okay. And then we have Huanggua. Hai you ma? That's. Do you have any cucumbers?、Mm. So Huanggua is cucumber. Hai you.、Uh, this I've always used this like still have.、Mm. Yeah. And then Miles, obviously the question. So do you still have? Yes, cucumbers. cucumbers.、Yeah. And then Ye Lai Liang Gen Ba. That is, I'd like. To get a couple, yeah. This is this means also, right? Also, yeah, because you bought he he or she is buying from the same vendor.、Mm-hmm. So after buying the tomatoes, and、uh, he also or she also wants to get some cucumbers as well. We could, we could also probably just say the "wo yao liang gen," right? Or "zai lai liang gen." Zai zai is like two as well. Oh, again, lai is like. Give me or bring me or something like that. Then come two cucumbers. Interesting. Yeah. So yes, also lie is. I would think that lie is come, but here it means like give me. Give me. Yeah. Okay. And then liang is two gun or I mean I'm familiar with ge, but here it says gun.、Is、yeah, that- because. Cucumbers, they're really long. Okay, so for long objects, you use gun. Gun, like also for、um, poles,、mm-hmm. you're also using gun. Okay. 两根黄瓜 two cucumbers. Uh huh. Yeah, and also it reminds me with the word lai, like when you are trying to order at a restaurant,、mm-hmm. you can also use this word lai. Lai bei shui, give me a glass of water. Lai bei shui. Yeah. 你可以给我水吗 ？Hmm, that's um the the foreigner's way of asking, <laughs> <laughs> asking the question. But like the really Chinese way would be 来杯水。来杯 ，What is 杯 ？Glass. Ah.、Uh-huh. 嗯，来杯水。来杯水。Give me a glass of water. So come the water. Yeah. Talking to Bring the water. Bring the water. <laughs> <laughs> And then the last sentence is 哎呀。黄瓜已经卖光了，你要买就再去别家看看吧。So、that is sorry, they're all sold out. You can check out other stores around here. I've heard "aya." This is normally a disappointment sound. Hmm.、Um, Huang Gua again is cucumbers. Yi Jing is already. Yes. Mai Guang Le means sold out. And then ni yao, this is you want. And then mai is、uh, buy. And then jiao is then. And then zai is normally like at. But here I think is、um, again or two or you know、okay. try some other places. All right, and then chu is go. And then bie jia, other home. Other stores. Other stores. Yeah. Oh, I thought jia is home. Jia is like the measure word for stores or shops. Oh my. 一家店 is one shop. Okay, and then kan kan is normally like look yes, or check yes, out. Yes. Yes.、Mm. So that's the whole dialogue. Do you want to give it a try? Sure. 西红柿怎么买？五块钱一斤。放心买，我们的菜一向很新鲜，都是自己种的。纯天然，黄瓜还有吗？也来两根吧。嗯
：“哎呀，黄瓜已经卖光了，你要买就再去别家看看吧。” Well, this doesn't really sounds like a business person. Like, we don't have cucumbers, just go to other stores. Yeah. The vendors will be like recommending other fresh produce to you. Like we also have this、mm. potatoes coming in this morning. Do you want also to check it out? Yeah, it's the way to make sales. I agree. <laughs>、yeah. I agree. Coming up next, let's learn more about grocery shopping. 去买菜 in Chinese. Don't go away, so you'll take some Chinese away. Welcome back to Takeaway Chinese. I'm Fei Fei, joined by Tony Reed. And Tony, in the dialogue we just went through, there are a couple of, I think, interesting words we can dive a little into. Okay. The first one is 一项一项 Yes, which、okay. means always. always, right? Yeah, exactly.、Okay. It's generally used to express a habit. Or attitude or convention, which has continued for a really long time, and so you are using 一项 to sort of emphasize that. Okay. Yeah, I think this is quite useful because most of us use the word always. Yeah. All, all the, the time. time. <laughs> <laughs> so the first example I think would be 我一向不喜欢点外卖 I always don't want to use Wai Mai. To I always don't like to order Wai Mai. Okay. Yeah. I always don't like to use or order Wai Mai. Yes. Interesting. It's sort of like I never order Wai Mai. That was me like a few years ago because I didn't know how to do it. Ah.、Oh. But now that I know how to do it. And、Then、you are like, like、yeah. slashing out the bu. I always like to order Wai Mai. Right. I've always liked to order Wai Mai. Yeah, the same. I always like to order Wai Mai. Hmm. That's also all you can use it to to describe other people. Like, he always been very diligent. He's always been. Diligent. Diligent would be either hardworking or serious、oh. or taking care of things. Okay.、Hmm. Okay. Yeah, he's always 他的态度 His attitude. Oh, but we don't need to say his attitude, right? We can just say,、uh, I guess, if we want to say that he's hardworking, we can、hmm. just say 他一向很认认真 Yes, 他一向很认真 But if we want to talk about his、uh, personality, uh, maybe we can say 他的性格啊一向很认真 ，Yeah， 性格 is personality， right？ Yeah， yeah， 性格 is personality. You can also say that. Mm, mm. For example, if you want to say she's always been or he's always been a nice person, 他一向很和善 ，he's always or she's always been nice. 嗯，他一向什么？很和善，很。Mm, he or she has always been nice and really polite、okay. to people. And if you say he's not polite, uh, ah, he, 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 He's always been very direct and straight, and sometimes rude to people. Oh, so it's not just rude; it's、uh, blunt. Hmm, blunt. Okay.、Mm. That often was used when you are trying to, for example, some of your coworkers or friends are sim- seem a little weird to other people who are not really familiar with them.、Mm. You will be like, "He's always like this. He's always like this. Don't mind that." Oh.、Mm. Okay.、Hmm, interesting. Yeah. And another word is actually "kan kan." Kan kan.、Mm, yeah, check out. Yeah, check it look, out. Look, look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And it often can be used in a lot of verbs that、okay. you are double them up to make it more casual, more colloquial. As for example, "kan kan," you know, check it out, or "ni shi shi," give it a try. Ah,、uh, give、mm. it a try. "Ni shi shi." I've heard this before. I need to write this down. Ni shi shi, give it a try. Yeah. And ni kan kan. Yeah. And how about taste? Chang chang, ni chang chang. Chang 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 chang. Hmm. Ni chang chang. 
Give it a taste. Okay. And other words I think would be used relates to grocery shopping is the places that we can go shopping in China. Okay. First of all is of course supermarkets, which are everywhere、mm-hmm. in the world. Right. Which is 超市超市 Yeah, because I think it's directly translated from English. Really. Because super in Chinese is 超级 Okay. Market, 市场 Okay. So the full name of it would be 超级市场 Oh. You know, implying you can get everything here. It's like the supermarket. Okay. But then you know it's four words. It's really long. Right. And then after some time, people shorten it down to 超市超市 Hmm. But in a lot of Chinese cities, I think the supermarkets are the boring place to shop. Boring. Yeah, because everything is pretty much the same. You know, the brands that they offer, the layouts of the markets, and you don't have to speak to anyone. But if you are in the new place,、mm-hmm. you want to talk to someone to get to know their way of living, their daily life. And、really? yeah, that's you know what <laughs> what I'm really interested in. Like, what kind of the special food that you have here? Okay, well, that would be the in- information that I would be interested in, not like their daily life. It's just like, look, I want this specialty <laughs> product. Do you have it or not? Yeah. But yeah, I think it depends on the shopper too, because you have some、uh, shoppers with、uh, different taidu, right?、Mm. Some people they just, they want to talk, they want their social butterflies, like yourself. But for me, it's just like we just give me what I want so that I can hurry up and leave. Do you know how to say social butterflies in Chinese? No, I don't. It's a quite a new word. It's called 社牛社牛社、mm. is like the social part,、uh-huh. and 牛 is like cow. Yeah, cow is the word <laughs> cow, but it doesn't mean cow. It's like、uh, you are. Really good at socializing、that、with other people. Does not match at all. I mean, because a cow is not social <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah, but 社牛 would be implying that this person is really good at socializing with other people. The 社牛 and on the opposite side of it is 社恐社恐恐 is like afraid of something. Okay. So, someone who is afraid of socializing with other people would be called 社恐社恐 Hmm. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but like for <laughs> sh- for 社牛 I think going to other markets. Every city pretty much has its own signature night markets,、mm-hmm. where you can not only buy stuff, you can also buy snacks, or you know, food vendors will also be there. Snacks? How do you say that? Um, 小吃 Xiao chu,、mm. so small、Food. eat. Yeah, small eats. <laughs> And night markets is ye shi, ye ye ye. The fourth tone, which、okay. is night, And shi is of course the market. Ye shi,、mm. ye shi, which we have a lot of very fun and vibrant night markets. You know, especially in the southern part of China. Where the weather is warm and people like to stay out late,、mm-hmm. and they will go to a lot of yeshi. But like for northern cities, we like to have zao shi, zao shi, which is morning, morning market. market. Okay, it opens like five in the morning,、Oof. and it closes like before noon. Okay, during the day. Wow. Yeah, where you can buy the freshest、uh, vegetables and fruits, and、mm. sometimes you can get meat as well. And also something else like seafood and stuff like that, and and also your、uh, morning meals、mm. like the yu tiao, yu tiao. What is that? That's the fried dough stick. Okay. Or tofu nao. So like the tofu kind of a soup. Okay. Yeah, like you you can finish your breakfast there. Going to the morning markets in northern cities would be more fun than going to the night markets because it would、yeah. be really cold. Yeah, if you can get up that early, <laughs> <laughs> you'll enjoy it. You know, get up early, enjoy some of the yu tiao, dou jiang, and dou fu nao, and buy some groceries, fresh fruits, and then head home to you know get more sleep. Yeah, <laughs> that's called hui long jiao. Wei Long Jiao.、Mm-hmm. What is that? It's like you wake up in the morning, and then you decide to get more sleep. 
Okay. A couple of hours later. It's hard for me. I think if I'm up, then I'm up. You're up. Yeah. You don't I'm like Hui Long Jiao. No. I love Hui Long Jiao. If I go back to sleep, then I, I will be kind of grumpy the rest of the day. Uh, How do you say grumpy? Bao <laughs> zao. <laughs> sounds so cute. Bao zao. Bao zao is really grumpy and easy to you know, <laughs> and that's grumpy in Chinese. Yeah, and then you are not a really a morning person. Are you a morning person?、Mm, I'm transitioning, but at this point, no. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm not always not a morning person, and in Chinese, we'll call that kind of people have 起床气。起床气。嗯，起床 is get up, wake up,、mm -hmm. and the 气 is like the anger. That you are angry waking up. Oh, I'm not angry waking up now. <laughs> but it's but... like really grumpy that you have this. You really get irritated really easily. <laughs> What is that? Bao 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 zao bao zao. Hmm. Okay. Very bao zao. Qi chuang qi. Yeah, for people with qi chuang qi, maybe going to zao shi, the morning markets, may not be a good idea. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> bao zao. How do you say I'm annoyed? 烦死我了，烦死我了。Okay. Like I'm annoyed to death now. Like you were so annoying. Like、uh, oh, okay. 烦死我了。烦死我了。Okay. And that brings us to the end of today's takeaway Chinese. I'm Fei Fei with Tony Reid here in the studio. For more episodes of the show, you can visit our website at radio.cgtn.com and go to the column podcast. You can listen to the show and read the script there. Find us wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts, including Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and much more. Just search for Takeaway Chinese, and don't forget to leave your comments, questions, and ratings. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Zaijian.